Hello to all Tesco bloggers. I'm John Hart. Iron House is a, a story about a very dangerous man, a very capable man who knows exactly who he is and what he's willing to do uh, to protect those that he loves and to get the job done. So it's, a, it's really a blending of the things that have made my earlier books work, which in my opinion uh, are meaningful characterizations, deeper backstories, um, a lot of interesting personal things about the characters then welded to sort of the chassis of a very hard charging thriller and that's what Iron House is. It's about a very dangerous man uh, willing to go to extremes. Michael in Iron House is a very dangerous man. In fact, uh, I've described him often as a stone cold killer and uh, people have asked me in the past how in the world do you get inside the head of someone like this? Um, and it, it's, a, it's a tough thing to answer because obviously I don't know the first thing about being a killer. I, I can't imagine what it would be like uh, to actually do that. Well, I, I, let me strike that answer. I can imagine. That's the whole point. There's no real meaningful way to research uh, what it feels like to be a killer. And so what I have to draw on as the author is, is the purest imagination. And the way I can make that work in, in a story like this is not to rely on the specifics of how one might kill or what happens uh, during the, the act of um, uh, an assassination, but what does that character feel as it's going on? What does he see uh, of the world through uh, his life and his experiences and what made him what he is? And so um, to make a character like Michael believable, it's really about what drove him to be there in the first place, what makes his actions credible. That's about his childhood. It's about his past. It's about the man that he's become. Places uh, like the orphanage in Iron House just scare the hell out of me. Um, I love writing about things that I fear. Uh, all of my books are pretty emotionally driven and fear is a very powerful one. Um, you can go back to my earliest novel, King of Lies, uh, where the main character has this horrible, horrible wife. I wrote that woman so convincingly because I was scared to death as a young man I might end up married to that woman. Um, the children in peril and the last child uh, is dr drawn on the same types of fears. I, I have young children. I can relate uh, very clearly to what it would feel like to find those children in peril. Um, the kind of authority gone wrong that you see is the overarching theme of what happens in that terrible orphanage, what happens in Iron House, and the effect that it has on these two brothers and the men that they eventually become it is powerful medicine and it's great stuff to explore because it is so pervasive and it's so much larger uh, than the boys and, and they, they, all they can do is, is ride with it. Uh, what's next for John Hart is uh, writing and raising kids. That's, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm working on book five. I'm starting to think about book six. And uh, at the same time, I'm trying to raise my two lovely girls and uh, take care of my wife. And, and that's really all I have time for other than coming to London.